Welcome back to the Division 2. First and foremost, I wish you all very good luck to get the Chameleon. In this video though, I will tell you exactly how you can get it today, and then with all the other tips that I've posted about the gun, you should be able to get it on any single day. So the very first thing, we all know it drops from bounties. I don't think it does matter which bounty, but your best chance is doing Black Tusk. But then you have the problem of running out of bounties, and that's where it gets juicy. So yesterday, we had it drop targeted loot was available from the bank headquarters mission. But today, that has obviously all changed because the first day was Camp White Oak, then bank headquarters, and now we do not have a mission. We literally just have the region Constitution Hall, which is over to the west of the White House. And I started my grind this morning. I put about three hours, maybe four hours in the day the episode three was released. I put nine and a half hours in yesterday, Still had zero luck. Pete and Con managed to get one. But today I've logged onto the game and I've started running Constitution Hall with Con in hopes that I could get myself one. And I've actually had two. Con's had one today as well. Pete's not had one today. But we all now have the gun. And between us three, we have two spares. What you need to do in Constitution Hall is incredibly simple. All you have to do is just go out and kill enemies. You don't have to do control points. In fact, if it's not going to drop off an enemy during a control point, you're not going to get it. The reason I'm posting this video is because I actually got my first chameleon without having a bloody Scooby that I even had the gun. I logged on, Con logged on, we joined up, like we grouped together, we started running control points thinking that that's going to be the way. And for those of you that don't know, or like even for me that didn't know, it can drop as a reward. We were going through and we got one of the control points, I can't remember which one it was, but we got one up to level 4 and we went to take that down. After completion of that, I was looking through all of my stuff, making sure that I had all the correct guns ready to be dismantled. I had a look through my inventory and it was just sitting there. I said to Con, like, how have I got the chameleon? I was so confused as to how I got it. I didn't think anything of it. We carried on, just grinding. I thought maybe it's a glitch if I close the game down, like relaunch it, the gun would disappear or something. But when I went back onto the game, because we are planning to also do the Coney Island stuff today, and we're going to try working on the field research for the firewall, because I've got videos and stuff coming for that as well. So if you are interested in that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications. But it was just randomly there in my inventory, and I thought nothing of it, but then I, I was out for a fag, and I thought, let's have a look, and we'll scroll down on the item, because it will tell you the source, exactly how you got it. It would always say, looted, scavenged, or rewarded. So I've had a look, and I've said to Pete and Con, because by this time Pete was online as well, and I've said, how did you two get your guns? And it says, for both of them, I believe it was looted. I've had a look at mine, and it says rewarded. And I'm thinking, okay, like, how were the different ways, like, like, what are the different ways of, like, things you can do in the game in order to get items rewarded? So what you need to do is actually go and do any activity in Constitution Hall today. If the targeted loot is in a region and not on a mission, at any point, if you're still wanting this gun, make sure you are doing all of the activities. Once you get a control point up to level 4, the only opportunity you have to get this gun to drop is for it to come off an enemy. It can fall off the red bars, the purples, or the elites. It can even drop from named bosses. It's literally any enemy in the game. But if you're running Constitution Hall, I actually got my second one. You'll see, I'll put the clip here. You will actually see from this, it popped up saying Aerial Recon Drone Destroyed. I had to go back and make sure that the rewards from completing an activity were dropping the gun. And you'll see where it pops up here, Aerial Recon Drone Destroyed. You'll see that it says at the bottom, it's got the red gun symbol, the assault rifle symbol. It says Targeted Loot Chameleon. So this weapon can drop from propaganda broadcasts, public executions, any of those territory controls. You literally just have to farm any single thing in that area. I'm not sure if it'll drop off the enemies that are just randomly roaming around, but make sure you are farming everything. And when it comes to the point where you've done all activities, all the control points are yours, what you need to do is either, I don't know if you can log out of the game and log back in and it will change it all, but join someone else's session because in another world, another instance, 
it will be completely different. So there might be two of three control points that are taken over by enemies. And if not, what you need to do is just make sure that you do not resupply these control points. If you resupply them, it will take longer for the enemies to actually come and take them over. So if you capture the control point and you leave the area, join a different session, go do a couple of missions or something, just keep checking your map every now and then, wait until a control point is taken over or an enemy activity pops up, go and do that in Constitution Hall, that is your best chance today because I know thousands of players have already run out of bounties grinding and grinding to get this gun. Me, Con and Pete don't have a single bounty between us. But a good thing is, to go alongside that, you can be awarded new bounties to do. Some of them can be Black Tusk. We were all going through doing the activities because I had my second one. I needed to make sure that it was actually dropping from the rewards of completing an activity. I had my second one. Con and Pete had one each. Once we completed a territory control, or I think it was actually a public execution, we spoke to the hostage. That hostage dropped a Black Tusk bounty. We went and did that bounty, took down the boss... The boss of that bounty actually dropped Con the Chameleon. So it's literally just activities in Constitution Hall and Black Tusk bounties. So make sure you're grinding all of that. And I know I've rambled a little bit, but it's kind of hard to explain. Like there is a simple way of just saying go do activities, but I thought I'd put some depth into it so that you guys understand better. But that's going to do it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. If you haven't got the gun, good luck on your adventures. If you already have, then congrats. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.